Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about FRFE, Frequency Response Friendly Environment. I know a lot of words, but you know me, I love these acronyms because one word can say a lot. And you know, I'm writing all the time, I'm speaking on the phone, I'm doing videos. You know, shortness is always an objective <laughs> that we go for. So, room dimensions versus usage. 95% of the time, the usage that most people want to do in the in these small rooms is not compatible. It's a huge percentage. I see it every day in my phone calls. Because when I plug your dimensions into our database and other databases that I have, I see 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 axial modes, just axial modes. I'll see three times that. It's about three to one for tangential. And then about two to one for oblique. So I see all this distortion on my screen. And then the person wants to add more subwoofers. They want to do this. So I'm looking at the screen. I'm seeing all this distortion. And in my ears, the client is saying, I'm going to make it worse. I'm going to add more energy so that your screen is going to explode, basically. Okay. So most of these rooms, the low frequency is out of control. There's no way really to resolve it to get an 80, 85, 90% resolution because we got to take up too much space to treat. The room becomes too small for usage. 30 to 50 cycle energy is not going to fit into your room at all, period. Okay, unless you're looking at 30, 40 foot dimensions. I never see those. Not in two south fields, maybe one length, basements. Room motor pressure, less than 60 hertz, plus 10 to plus 14 dB. I saw rooms 30 cycles, plus 16. 40 cycles, plus 12. There's always, remember, in that response, there's always that big peak here. And then it slides down around 70 to 80 to a dip. And then it goes back up and does this craziness. This area here. It's a nightmare in these small rooms, okay? Existing dimensions, volume usage, not, not well matched. Low frequency, then we got the pressure and the reflections that we have to manage in rooms. Reflections, most of that energy is middle and high frequency energy. It'll fit. We got, you know, enough distance, but we don't have enough distance without proper tech uh, absorption and, and diffusion technologies to manage the time signature of the reflection. And that's important also. So what do we got to do? So we got to create a new room, but we don't want to get a hammer and a saw. So we're going to create a new room with the right treatment technology. Our units average between 12 and 16 inches deep. They're on wheels, casters, easy to move around. They're heavy, 200 plus pounds each. But we're going to build a new frequency response friendly environment, a new room within your room that's going to manage both pressure and reflections on the four walls. Okay, so it's going to be a series of panels on the four walls. We're going to create FRFE, frequency response friendly environment. Okay for lows, mids, and highs, because behind the fabric on the ACD and the carbon panel is our foam technology. All right. So we got ACDA10, ACDA12, and the carbon panel. Carbon panel starts at 40 hertz. Some rooms, that's where their problems start. Some rooms start at 30. Some usages, classical music, things like that, want full range coverage. Others do not. 40 to 6,300 is fine. Some need 30 to 6,300. So everything is dependent upon usage, okay? So we got all this these dimensions to consider. We got to consider rate and level of absorption, 30 to 300. That's the main one at in every room, okay? That's why we invented the ACDA 10, because it's broadband from 30 to 300. So we're going to build this new room in it. We're going to do the ceiling also. We're going to create a new environment that's way more frequency response friendly. 
So when I do these proposals for you, I try to look at the volume of the room, the usage of the room, the dimensions of the room, the amount of energy you're going to put in the room, and max out the resolution in the lows, mids, and highs as best we can. We can usually do pretty well in the mids and highs. It's the lows that are always the problem. We're going to get 60% resolution. We're going to get 70% resolution. We're going to get 80% resolution. Very rarely 90. But mastering rooms demand 90% resolution. So the goal is obviously to increase the resolution. The only way we're going to do that is to build an FRFE, a new environment that's more frequency response friendly. And we do that through treatment. So that's how we have to do these small rooms. Unfortunately, in order to solve the lows, the mids, and the highs, we got to make the room smaller. I wish we could go the other way, but we can't. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.